I'm an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator, but I wasn't always. I've been playing with these tools and creating as a facilitator since about 2015, but I was introduced to Access Consciousness in 2013. I'm 46 this year, you can do the math. So when I found Access, I didn't know I was looking for it. I was just looking for something that would help me be happy and take the edge off and I was living every single day in a constant state of some sort of anxiety or overthinking or depression. Um, I have my whole entire life been in and out of therapy. Um, I've done EMDR, hypnotherapy, breath work, church. Um, I have a degree in theology. I I've been a seeker all my life and when I was about 35 or 36 I was married for the second time and was in so much pain and sadness that I was crumpled on the front lawn of the farmhouse we were living in uh, ready to kill myself. I had figured out how to black out drink, I knew exactly what to do, I was going to go run a bath and sit in it and black out and drown. And I literally, I was sobbing and sobbing and sobbing. And there was something in that moment that stopped me. And I think it was the thought of them trying to take my waterlogged dead body out of an iron tub down a narrow staircase. There was something <laughs> about that that hit me. But whatever it was, I'm so grateful because the cry in my heart was like, what else is possible? Now, access didn't come into my life right at that moment. I had another lady that really helped me get my feet back under me, but when I, after we moved far away from her, and I no longer had her, this, this call in my entire being was still there. And I stumbled on Access Consciousness via Facebook, and that little blurb at the top of someone's um, profile that says who they're working for, I was like, what's that? So I started to Google it, and Google it, and Google it, and Google it. And I was confused, because if you guys have visited the Access Consciousness website yet, you know it's like not the clearest thing in the world, and it doesn't give you a pathway, it just gives you choice. And I was like, how do you do this thing? Is it a school? Is it a thing? It's like, what do you do? Is there a pathway? Sign me up! Where can I, where can I start? So I kept Googling, and kept Googling, and kept Googling, and finally found a facilitator near me who was able to respond to me by email and so I was like, Kids, help me. And she said, well, you can start anywhere. Like, what's light for you? What's light is true for you and what's heavy is a lie and you can start with a session or you can start with a class. Like, what's light for you? Anyway, I had never heard that tool and if you go down below, I'm gonna to talk to you about that tool. So I held my hands out in front of me and I'm like, light, heavy, light, class, session, class, session. Anyway, that didn't help but I ended up choosing a bars session. And that one session changed the trajectory of my entire life. <laughs> and every time I talk about it, I cry. Because I did not know that you could be different. I had been trying to fix me for 20 years. And what I started to get with these tools and these classes was that there was nothing wrong with me. There was nothing to fix. I wasn't broken. In fact, there was so much right about me and there was so much great about me. And I can tell you that after nine years of playing and taking class after class after class after class and facilitating with these tools, that that continues to gift. So my question for you is, what's right about you? You're not getting. What gift are you that you haven't yet received the fortune of? And I wonder what's truly possible for you. I can't wait for you to dive in, and so I'll stop talking and let you do it. What are you looking for? And have you found it yet?